I'm out here today going to try to uh, experiment a little bit with the uh, my little fourth axis uh, rotary uh, axis uh, attachment that I've made for my Sidewinder CNC. Um, I have I have a four axis controller um, that I bought from Xylotex that I used with uh, all my Sidewinders that I built and. Um, I decided it, it'd be real easy to, uh, since I use a, a four axis to run the three axis because I slave the X, or excuse me, the, the uh, Y and the A axis to run my Y axis back and forth. So uh, it'd be real easy to uh, just create another machine profile in Mach 3 and, and use the uh, uh, rotary attachment. So what I've done is I've bought another bought another motor from Xylotex and made this and attached it where it just stays here but you know the motor uh, stays here and then I what I do is I just unplug the uh, A axis from back there and disable the Y so that none of that's going to move and then I get this clamped down so that I can uh, run my X, Z and, and now an A axis which is going to be a rotary axis so I'm going to try this out and i uh, been playing with it a little bit, think I've got it dialed in, and I'm going to try it out here and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Move this in a little closer, and we'll start her up and see what happens. Okay, so it's finished my uh, test program here. And this, this is really testing a couple of things because one, I'm testing the uh, the little rotary axis attachment that I that I built, and also it uh, allows me a chance to try out the uh, wrapping uh, function in uh, VCar Pro. This is uh, I have VCar Pro 6.5, and uh, what I was uh, programming with using their wrapping feature and this is just a, uh, an old piece of uh, inch and a quarter round stock here that I had and I'm just sanding this off here a little bit so we can see how it come out it didn't come out too bad for a first test but you can see it's uh, just engraving Sidewinder CNC on there, and I, did, I wrapped it around there three different places. So, just to uh, to test that out, looks like it worked pretty good. Uh, and also, you can see that this is uh, about as cheap of a rotary axis attachment that you can find. Uh, it's, it's just made over out of some leftover uh, half-inch MDF that I had. I had a piece of oak here that I cut this little two-inch round and. So it would grip the uh, the workpiece. I uh, countersunk and 
and put in uh, some wood screws that were just the points stick out so that works pretty nice uh, holding the, the workpiece in and this other piece is just a, a, a live center that I had from a, uh, a little uh, mini lathe that I hardly ever use so I just of course it's the shaft on it is tapered so I had to, to kind of taper some holes here to get that to set parallel and I've just got a screw clamp uh, here you, I've got a slot cut you can see where I can slide it up where I need it to be and then, and then fasten it down and it seems to work pretty good so since uh, since I'm learning about this wrapping stuff I may uh, may build one maybe a little nicer uh, later on uh, but if you have any questions um, or comments uh, please uh, feel free to to give me those and also subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll uh, we'll put something else on there again later